Hello Taurus, this is your reading for March 30th through April 1st. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and as always, thank you guys for coming. Let's see, what love messages do we have for Taurus? Please show me love messages for Taurus. Taurus. The Nine of Cups. Mm. A lot of you, you're happy, but there's still something I feel like you guys are wanting emotionally. Okay. There's something new I feel like you guys are wanting here. I feel like you've been having a good time. Um, I also feel like you guys have been working on yourself here. Okay. You're feeling stable emotionally. For sure. Okay. Let's see what else. The magician. There's something I'm definitely feeling like you guys want to make happen. There's an offer that you guys are wanting to make. There's something that you want to start here. Okay. That's Gemini, Virgo, Energy. Maybe Scorpio is here as well. Um, definitely something that you guys are trying to manifest, I feel. Maybe a committed relationship. There's somebody I feel like you guys um, think you can be happy with here. Okay. I feel like you guys have been working on yourself. You've been um, working on your finances. You've been working on your livelihood. Um, and I, I'm getting that there is a level of confidence that you guys are actually exuding now. And it's like you want to share it with someone I'm feeling here. Okay. Nine of Swords. Really, really been thinking hard about this. Okay. There's definitely something I feel you guys have been contemplating about. But if you're trying to manifest something here with someone, I feel like um, don't overthink this. Okay. Because I'm getting that you guys are like at times talking yourself out of it. And I feel like that's why there are no wands here. It's because when you when you think about it, um, you think about it a little too much and then you talk yourself out of it. Please show me more about the Nine of Cups. The Six of Cups. Somebody from your past I feel like you want to work with. Um, you want to work things out with. Somebody that you feel quite at home with. Okay. A lot of emotional um, uh, feelings there for someone here. Okay. And the Eight of Swords. Yeah. You are overthinking this. This is somebody I feel like you share a lot of history with. A lot of hurt. Um, disappointment with as well. Okay. For sure. You're, you kind of get trapped and caught up in your thoughts about this individual. Please show me more about the King of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel you guys definitely have been working on yourself. There's something that you're trying to achieve. There's some practical means um, that you are using with the Magician. I, I feel like you guys have, have the knowledge. Um, you have the necessary, it's like you, you have all the tools in your tool set to make something happen here. I'm just feeling like you guys are overthinking something, okay? And that needs to actually end. I'm, I'm feeling it like culminating here, but um, there's a need for you to also use your intuition in this situation, okay? Please show me more about the Nine of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles. Yes. Definitely a couple here. I feel like there is somebody here that is, is indeed your match. Um, I feel that you really want to work on a situation with this person. But um, your, your imagination, your thoughts are getting away from you with this situation here. Okay. Too much thinking. Too much thinking. Let's see. What energy is coming towards... Taurus. What energy is coming towards Taurus? Maybe another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth energy like yourself. Could also be, like I said, a Gemini here. Scorpio energy is here as well. Um, Piscean energy. What energy is coming towards Taurus? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah.
to the earth energy. Um, you guys definitely see that, you know, a situation with this person could very be, could very be, could um, very well be a profound connection, a profound relationship, very significant, something that, you know, could last the test of time here. Okay. Eight of Swords, but again, um, you know, there's somebody I, I feel you, you guys share a lot of hurt with. You share a lot of hurt and disappointment with, okay? Somebody that you've been in a cycle with, for sure. Hmm. What else do we have? Four Taurus, Ten of Cups. I feel like this person's in a good place. Um, so if you guys feel like, you know, with this Nine of Swords energy that this person is still very much stuck on past events, I don't feel that, okay? Um, I, I do get that they have been working on themselves as well. I feel like they're good right now. As far as their mental state, as far as their emotional state, um, I feel like they are happy within themselves, okay? I feel that you guys want to be happy with this person. I definitely get that. Okay. A lot of love here. There's a lot of love here. I do feel that if this is something, I'm feeling like I'm giving this message time and time again to you guys. But if this is somebody that um, you really want to be with or you can really see yourself with, but you think that they're holding on to you know grudges and and what happened with you guys in the past I don't see that I don't see a confrontational energy here I see a very loving connection and I'm feeling like you know this person will reciprocate whatever it is that you guys are offering here okay and this is only going to be for some of you I feel like they're going to give you what you give them no more no less Okay, so again, I think I called out um, most of the signs here, but we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, energy like yourself, possibly. Um, Capricorn is here. And um, that's what I see, guys. All right, so that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon.